We're here with Neil Veloshin, the Chief Operating Officer of Cavitation Technologies. Let's start with an overview of your technology. Our company has multiple applications for fluid processing. Uh, for example, vegetable oil refining, water treatment side. Um, there are multiple other applications. So conceptually, to understand what our technology does, uh, we break uh, or change physical or molecular structure in fluids, uh, thus achieving much more efficient uh, processing or treatment of, for example, any type of uh, fluid that requires a chemical infusion of some sort. So by reducing uh, chemicals uh, or really mitigating the negative impact of uh, introduction of chemicals to a fluid treating process, uh, that's typically what our technology is behind, but well, that's what we typically do. Over a period of time, we have developed multiple technologies and applications. As I mentioned, we have numerous patents and processes. And what was intriguing to us in many ways, that water treatment, which is a global problem, everybody is aware of it, we clearly understand that it's one of those sources or resources that are scarce and kind of everybody's fighting for them. So we've made quite a bit of work on the research and development and figuring out which type of application of our technology could be utilized in treating water or produced water. The first one that fell into our lap again, it was uh, treating frac water uh, in oil and gas industry. The industry by itself is very, very large. It's approximately $12 billion a year industry by itself. And this is what we figured out we're going to do. And we have commercialized our technology already. We've treated approximately a couple of million barrels already. In summary, Neil, what is the value proposition? Why should investors take an interest in cavitation technologies today? As a small company, firstly, I look, we've, we, over a period of years, we've preserved our cap structure. Um, our shareholder base uh, is following the company very much meaningfully and stays with us for quite some time. Uh, we do not have any debt other than approximately $150,000 SBA loan. Uh, we're growing our business. The applications of technologies are of global nature. So once we execute and monetize in it, I think opportunities for our company are endless. Thank you for coming into the studio today. Great. Thank you, Craig.